Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris HFM. This is another instalment of Rebuilding the Castle with Berkhamsted FC. Now, as you can see from when you were last with me, it was against Avil Church and we got that nil-nil. Since then, we have literally been fully on fire. 2-1 against St Ives. FA Cup preliminary round beat Windsor 2-0. Played some of the second string players in that game just to get through, like give them a little bit of fitness. We then drew two all with Banbury in the in the league. Beat Formtown 5-1 in the league, then beat Stamford in the FA Cup first qualifying round 6-1. Palmborough 3-1 in the Southern League first round. And Margate 6-3 in the Builder Base trophy. Obviously, I played a lot of the backup players in that game. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. We then played Storbridge in the last game, beat them 4-0, very convincing. Tebble was absolutely on fire, got a hat-trick, header, right foot and free kick. And today I'm going to bring you Bromley in the FA Cup second qualifying round. They are a division above us, they're in the National League South. And I shall bring you Rush Hall Olympic in the league. So yeah, things are looking up for the season. Looks like we're probably going to go up or I should think we should go up. I think we're 12 points clear after 15 games so everything's looking good team for today against Bromley will be Potter in goal Cissé and Agungbo as the fullbacks Cleaver Lynch centre-back Hartman Burnett and Savage are in a central midfield and Tebble Coker and Ghost are our attacking front three uh, Sodic went off a little bit of form stopped scoring goals I brought I brought Goss in and he started firing so that's why he's in the team Wendell James is also on the bench for us now and uh, his his potential and ability is both better than James Goss but he hasn't scored a goal a league goal yet I think as soon as he does probably start looking to put him into more games and giving him more game time so let's get right into this then FA Cup second qualifier Bromley whipped the ball across it's headed out they're still on the attack though, whips it across again and it's a fantastic header at the back post but yet again still under a lot of pressure and now we break. Goss plays it for all, Matthew Coker's in here and it's 1-0 to Berkhamsted FC. Matthew Coker with his 10th goal of the season and he's been absolutely on fire this season so far. See Goss holds the ball up, plays a lovely little ball into Coker who's being held onside by number 5. Sprints into the area, puts it across the goalkeeper and reaches that far post to put us 1-0 up and once again we are leading a team in a division higher than us in the FA Cup a little bit sloppy pass in there gets cleared away burn it now Savage whips it across Tebble whips it in and there's Goss for his eighth goal of the season and what a finish that is left foot top corner burn it assesses his situation plays it in Coker back to Savage Savage first time left ball across Tebble heads it in and Goss is there to completely wrong foot the goalkeeper and hammer that home for us and we're leading 2-0 after 10 minutes in the FA Cup second qualifying round Cleaver with a long throwing in puts it out Alec Hartman has a go just over the top of the bar he's another one that's been in fine form for us all season we're already being told Savage needs a comes off because he's got a bruised thigh shut up mate it's non-league football you don't get looked after like the Premier League players do he'll be fine so 27 minutes in 2-0 up XG's looking good for us at 0.64 it's looking really slim for them at 0.08 40 minutes in then they've got a throw in they're coming whips the ball across there's nobody following that they should have really got a goal in there but we'll take that take a miss all day long 2-0 very happy with that and the FA Cup is what we really need to start we need to, well, not start. We need to just progress through these qualifying rounds, maybe get to the first round proper and start making some money as that corner comes in and it's headed away relatively easily by Bromley. Cleaver and Burnett now in the middle. It's a great ball forward. Matthew Coker whips that across and it's a goal. They've given it as an own goal by the goalkeeper, but Tebble put him under enough pressure to force the mistake. And it's now 3-0. To Berkhamsted FC. Savage now. Look at that. Cleaver plays it down the wing. Coker gets to the byline. Whips it across. And I, f I don't know. The keeper sort of puts his hands out. Somehow manages to push it forward. And the ball goes backwards and in the net. I mean world class goalkeepers don't do that. He's, he's like level above. If you can punch the ball forwards and it goes backwards. 
he might as well face his goal. He'd be better off facing the goal, wouldn't he? And then he could clear it instead of doing that. Anyway, Cissé now for us. Gives it to Lynch. Lynch plays the ball up. Goss flicks it on. There's nobody running on to that. And Bromley can get a breakaway. But only as far as Cissé. Tebble picks it up. Hartman now puts it across. Tebble back to Burnett. And that's a penalty. Alec Hartman will take this. I'm not going to jinx him. I'll tell it. I'll say it after the penalty. And Hartman puts it in and dispatches it for his eighth goal of the season. And he hasn't missed a penalty yet, which is what I didn't want to say before he took it. Puts that right in the corner. The keeper didn't even die for it. Already know it was in. And we're 4-0 up against the team in a higher division. Which does look good for us if we do get promoted. If the team like this. And Goss is in again here at the back. Keeper makes a good save this time. Puts it behind for a corner. We'll look at making some changes in a minute. As Hartman picks the ball up out wide, puts it across Savage, back to Hartman, whips it in and the keeper comes out and collects that comfortably. But as I was saying, we've been dominating a lot of teams this season. like Absolutely dominating them off the park. You've seen it in the results. 6-1-5, 1-6-3. We're scoring a lot of goals. And I mean, to play a team like Bromley, I know they're, they're not, maybe they're not the best sort of team in that division but they're still a league above us and Goss has got his ninth goal of the season and it's 5-0 after 66 minutes to a team that are above us a division above us and this is what I'm saying maybe we're ready maybe it's going to be one of them where we step up and we're just good to go and we go straight for the National League but as you can see I mean I'm very happy with this 5-0 up better fire some praise out I haven't praised them yet 15 minutes to go we'll make some changes savage can come off with his bloody bruised thigh martin lynch can come off for tizard i mean five now i'm quite happy that we're probably not going to lose this game now in theory uh richard bentley's just come back from injury he's scored a couple of goals for us since coming back off the bench but matthew coker's just so good that i can't really justify putting bentley back in the team straight away Four minutes to go then, 5 nil to Burko. And that's going to be all she wrote for Bromley in the FA Cup this season. And we go marching on into the next round. Good win. And yeah, I just think the positivity in the squad, everything's as high as it possibly can be, like morale, fitness, it's all starting to come together. And... I think we're going to be, I think this division is going to be very easy for us for the rest of the season. There's three and a half grand. I mean, he's out for three to six days with a bruised thigh. I'm pretty sure we used to play Sunday league games with a lot worse than that. So, yeah, I'll be back in four days time for the, uh, who is it? Russell? Russia Olympic? Yeah, Russia Olympic. We'll be, I'll be back just after a short break. Catch you in a minute. Ball. Right then, I had to make a few changes because obviously we've got a couple of players out with international duty, as you can see. Matthew Coker's on England England under 18s duty. Lynch is on England under 18s duty. Gaudia is on England's under 18s duty. Uh, Waddell James has just got back from international duty with St Vincent. So team we're going to go with today, Potter in goal. Cissé, Tizard, Cleaver, Agungbo at the back. Hartman, Burnett and Green in the centre. Tebble, Bentley and Goss are off attacking front three. Green's come back in because Charlie Charlie Savage hasn't recovered from his bruised thigh. So he will be out for this game. So let's see how these two players, three players can do coming back into the starting eleven, And hopefully we can keep our massive run of form going. I think we're 37 games unbeaten at the minute. And that's still carrying over from last season. So we'll carry on when we finish the last match. Obviously away again. But I mean with the way we've been playing it doesn't matter if we're home or away. As Casey whips the ball in and we're already 1-0 up inside 5 minutes. It's an own goal by the goalkeeper again. What are the chances of that happening two games in a row? Cissé throws it. Tebble puts it back. Cissé's ball in. Goss touches it. Hits the post. Hits the keeper and goes in. It's highly unlucky by Oscar Kelly, the goalkeeper, but we'll take that like normal. And as you can see by the league table on the far right, 
which I can't tell you because it's gone. Casey now running towards it, flicks the ball over, Gus is in, and the keeper makes a save this time. Corner to come in now from Hartman, whips it across, it's headed at the back post and cleared away. Green will pick that ball back up for us. Cleaver with a ball over, doesn't quite beat the last man. But as you can see, we're on 44 points and Chip and him in second are on 31. We're 13 points clear after 16 games in this division. And we only just come into this division, so it's very good. And Goss is in, hits the post, but he's been given offside anyway. But as you can see, we pretty much dominate teams early. There's a ball coming in there. I might speak too soon. Hernandez whips it back across. It's a dodgy header away by a gungbo. Tebble picks it up and clears. Goss can't win that. Olymp Russell Olympic still on the attack. Ball comes across and is headed over the bar. Slight little hiccup in the defence there. Here we go then. Another throw in. That's a poor throw. Straight to them. Gives them an instant counter-attack. All our players trying to rush back. It's good defending there from Hartman. They've still got the ball though and they're still on an aggressive attack. Ball comes in. Potter will... I thought, well, I thought he'd pick it up. I don't know what he's thinking, but... If it would have pulled off, then it would have pulled off. But it's not, has it? Just being stupid, you should have picked that up and slowed the game down a little bit. As they whip the ball across, it's headed away. They're still on the attack here. Still up with a chance. Another big hit, and it's gone in this time. And really, we should be dealing with that a lot sooner than we did. Nobody's putting any pressure on them. Just passing the ball around nicely. Look, there's one bit of pressure there from Casey. Passed it back. Williams with an excellent strike. You're not going to save that, even if you are a world-class goalkeeper at this level. Fantastic hit. We need to get some encouragement into the lads because they're sitting back. They've given the ball away again. Ball played forward. Goss wasn't even watching to chase. Green plays it forward. Goss is in and it's 2-1 Burkamps did with James Goss's 10th goal of the season. That will sort of take a little bit of pressure off us and maybe peg them back a little bit. 31 minutes in, Goss, lovely little bit of control and just puts it past an outstretched goalkeeper. I mean, they're going to check it for that. We don't need to see it again. Kenny Cleaver's fitness is a little bit shocking at the moment. He's played a lot of football, though, to be fair to him. But, I mean, we're, again, dominating possession. XG right up again. Assistant manager wants to play for set pieces. I don't see the point. Still a little bit of room for improvement. Let's just go out there and hit it, lads. Look, these two lines haven't gone yet. We're still looking at that offside. There's no VAR at this level. But mate, of his tape measure out down the sideline, walking the dog. Uh, half an hour to go then. I'll fire a little bit of praise on him. Probably make him worse. Of course it has. I still don't get that with Football Manager. In China, I mean, it's like when you encourage them to do more when they're 2-1 up or 2-0 up. They get the amp. It's like, well, that's what I do. That's what most managers would do in real life. We want more goals. We want more goals. So encouragement. But for some reason, on football manager, I can't believe what I've just seen. Why have you smashed that? Straight into Alec Hartman's face. <sighs> 15 minutes to go. We'll watch this highlight. Cleaver puts it over. Headed wide. That is absolutely pathetic. What's Hartman doing? 6.1. And that's because the goalkeeper kicked the ball into his face. Can't believe it, honestly. I am going to bring James on. We'll put him in as a poacher. We're going to have to go for this, so. Can't be drawing teams like this. It's pathetic. Really poor. Really, really poor. Oh, I'm going to push them all forward and just hope that this gets us back into it. Kenny Kleber can come off because he's tired. Put Owen Moore at centre back. Um, that's what I mean. If I had Coco, it'd be all right. I mean, do we put three up top? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to 
We'll take him off. We'll put Bacalosi on. I know he's not as good, but he's having a really poor game. We need to get into the boys and get them a little bit of encouragement and get them going again. Nine minutes to go. A gungbo. Long throw in. Keeper comes and collects it relatively easily. No pressure from us on him at all. Ball kicked forward. We've also got to be careful that we don't, don't kick it against anyone. It's a great ball over the top. It's just unlucky. Bentley now will run at him. He hasn't done anything and James should be putting that away. And this is what I mean by bringing him in. It's another goal that he should be putting away there. I can't believe that we're going to draw this game off of Potter's stupidity. Kicking it straight at Hartman. <sighs> Not happy with that. Ridiculous bit of football that was. Ridiculous. Just picked it up relatively easy. And let's just larrit it full pelt at our mate's face. For an own G. 16 unbeaten now. I'm fuming, viewers. Fuming like that. Absolutely fuming. So yeah, that'll bring today's episode to a close. I will probably be coming back around January time. We'll just play a good chunk of games now and come back in the new year. See how everything's still going. But uh, if you did like that, please leave me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.